Summer is fast approaching, the UCAT booking is open and you need to pick a date to sit your UCAT exam. You've looked long and hard on your calendar and you just can't find the perfect date for you. It's a big decision and you're probably still at school learning new content, thinking about your personal statement, work experience, or even wondering how you're gonna cram all your revision over summer. With all this in mind, looking for the perfect date is easily overlooked. But as a first year medical student, I'll tell you now, it is so important to pick the right date to ensure you can truly balance everything. And in this video, we're gonna go through how you can pick the best date for you. Let's start off with why picking the right date is so important. Beginning with picking a date that's way too early. For example, booking your UCAT exam during July. Now on average, you need about four to six weeks to really prepare for the UCAT, which means if you're someone who's still in year 12 and who's planning to sit the UCAT in July, you're really not giving yourself adequate amounts of time to really do as best as you can. I feel like July is a bit of a popular date simply because it means you can enjoy the majority of your summer, but I do think that the compromise to your UCAT score isn't worth it if it means you're not getting enough time to revise. Unless you're someone who truly feels like you've started your revision properly whilst in school, which for most people isn't the case, you really want to avoid dates in July and you'll probably find that those dates are more popular for students who are maybe taking a gap year or have maybe already done their A-levels and are sitting the UK exam. So they have a lot more time. Booking in July won't give you enough time most likely and that will really reflect in your score and bear in mind you can only sit the UCAT once every year and this one score is going to go to all your uni so you really don't want to compromise that. Booking too late can also be a big mistake especially booking around September time. The logic is that the later you book it the more time you have to revise and therefore the better your score will be which logistically makes sense but that's assuming the UCAT is the only thing you're worrying about over summer, which it isn't. You really need to look at the bigger picture. In September, a lot of schools warn their students before summer that there's gonna be a big mock exam that's gonna come up. Uh, and usually this mock exam that comes up in September is used to fill out your predicted grades for UCAS. But on top of this, because medical and dentistry students have earlier deadlines than most, most schools will expect you to have your first draft of the personal statement ready by September. So you can imagine, you know, you've got this dilemma. Do you spend all your time on the UCAS UCAT exam, the score for which is very important in ensuring you can get as many offers as possible. Do you focus on your mock exams, the grades for which are very important to ensure that you get as many offers as possible? Or do you focus on your personal statement draft? Something that, again, needs to be really good if you want to maximize the number of offers you get. You see the dilemma? You've got too many things to balance and the issue is that they all technically have equal priority. They're all very important. So you really want to avoid doing it in September and kind of cramming everything together because in most cases you will find that you're either making too many compromises or that you're not able to do as well in all three of these things as you need to. So this brings us on to when should you book the UK exam? I mean, that's why you've clicked on the video. You haven't clicked on here to tell me when you shouldn't book it. You want to know when is the best date to book it. Well, I would say that mid-August is your safest bet to book the UK exam. Booking it mid-August will mean that you have enough time from when school finishes so you're not learning any new content and you have a lot more free time. And it also means that by the time you're done your UCAT, you'll have enough time to not only enjoy a bit of summer, but also to make sure you can revise for your mocks and to make sure you can start your personal statement draft. Mid-August will allow you to also have the adequate four to six weeks to really revise. And you'll find that this tends to be the most popular period when most people are booking their UCAT. So this means that if you're certain that mid-August is the date you wanna pick and it's the date I highly recommend, that you wanna go and book it straight away. Now, if you're someone who's already booked their date, don't worry, you can always change it. So if after watching this video, you feel like you haven't picked the right date then I'd highly recommend you kind of go and reschedule it whilst you still can. Now hopefully this has given you some more clarity over when you should book your UCAT exam. I know there's going to be a lot of things you need to balance during summer and I've mentioned some of these things in the video but if you're someone who's sitting there and is slightly unsure 
what sort of things you'll need to balance over year 12 summer, then I highly recommend you watch this video on my channel going through a to-do list of all the things you should consider when starting your summer in year 12. Thank you so much for making it this far. Make sure to check out the other videos on this channel if you really want to get some good UCAT advice and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Goodbye.